I'll go there. Welcome to another talk, podcast, a meditation. And today's talk is called Talk on the Ascension Road, Heaven and Life. I got the idea for this talk when I saw this picture. You know, just a picture I found on the internet. I wasn't looking for it or anything. And I thought, okay, someone's post, so I took it. (laughs) But uh, this is kind of symbolic of what I'm talking about. You know, uh, you know, and this is what we're all what, what we're doing on the Ascension Road. I mean, this picture. What happens when they reach the top of where they're going? You know, they're going back down again. <laughs> you see, and that's really the ascension road. You go up, then you go down. You go up, then you go down. The only way to go when you're up is down. The only way to go when you're down is up. You see? And then you realise that You know, this hope of getting somewhere. You know, whether it be twin flame connection, ascension, an energy state of consciousness or or anything of those things. You realise once, once... you know, you realise that there's nowhere special to go. You let it go. This stuff is what causes you pain, you see. A lot of people will think they're actually picking up feelings from their twin flame. But they're actually feelings within yourself because you are the same soul, you see. And I'm not going off topic, that is related to what I'm talking about. But you have to let go of the idea of getting somewhere. Because that's an ego thing. It's, you're not getting anywhere. You know, you're dealing with infinity. Nothing. So it means there's limitless potential, but at the same time you go nowhere. Which is crazy, but that's the way it is. <clears throat> because it's infinite, it can spontaneously do anything. And you won't, you won't have ever experienced it in your mind. So you've just got to let it go. You know, and it's, it's so hard because the ascension awakening path is so opposite and alternative to the way you live your life normally before you're awakening. Right? Before you the spiritual awakening, you're the complete opposite. You're right, and this, and you're you're on a different road now. You were taught to be anxious. You were taught to worry. You know, have all these doubts about things. Judging yourself all the time, worrying all the time. And the awakening is showing you something completely different. And that's when you really create your own heaven. When you let all this go, when you're on the different path we know. You enter into presence. Then that presence awareness becomes euphoric. There's an orgasmicness coming in. That's when you've entered tantric awareness. Many people say this is between twin flames also. And that heaven is life. That's the life force you've accessed there. That covers all the stock. (laughs) I'll just finish now. No, I'm just joking, but... That's it. 
you see? And the heaven is actually right here. Because if you, if you, it doesn't matter where you are, if you're not at peace with right here, I mean, this world might not be a nice place, it's not. But if you can be at peace with that, then nothing can bother you. You know, it's like I watched a documentary years ago about Muhammad Ali, the boxer. And his doctor said that when he got Parkinson's, he 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 was ha- a happy individual even though he had uh, Parkinson's. And so that's that's just what I'm talking about. You know, he had that and this harsh life to deal with, but you know, so if you so my point is that that that's where the heaven is. You know, you've went through the storm, but are you going to fall? Or are you going to be steeled from the fire? And create that heaven and bliss within yourself and be a rock. You know? How are you going to be someone else's rock if you're not a rock for yourself? That's the thing. So it's so that's the ascension road. It's 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 creating that heaven within yourself, and what you're actually finding, what you're going towards, is the source of all life. You know that that that's what you're going to, the heart. That's how you do this. That's how you awaken. That's how you tap into this this higher knowledge, this divinity. It's all heart. Which means you do face what's going on in the world because, you know, you, you, when you're heart-based, you're authentic. You know, running away from things is not being heart-based. Being heart-based is that person on your own. Be honest about it. Be honest with what you feel. That's being heart-based. And then you might cry, but then you deal with the issue properly, right? And that's the ascension road. And it is a journey. But then as you ascend, you you come to the realisation that that journey wasn't actually happening. That it's all concepts, ideas, stories, beliefs that you thought was real. It might be nice, it might make you feel good, but the idea that you're an even you and this is part of the same journey. Realise that even the idea of life is just a concept, you see. (laughs) <laughs> that's all it is it's all concepts and stories and then you realise you don't know anything you never did it was all st- all stories and concepts and then when you don't know that's when you enter into this 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 uh, ecstasy this tantric source it's like the more you ascend the more you enter into that it's like a limitless ecstasy sexual power that some people call kundalini it's actually the source of all life but then you realise that all that is even concepts as well the more you realise it's all concepts the closer you get to the source and then you realise you're nothing at all, and then you then you've got it. But then you ha- and as you realise you don't have anything, the more ecstasy materialises. Because you're becoming lighter, you see. You're tapping into your light body. 
because you realize that you don't exist. And you've never existed. And like Deepak Chopra says, there's only one, there's one nothing, and that's what oneness means. It's one nothing. But within that nothing, this is this is the thing. There is a force that manifests the dream, the simulation, life. And that is God. And that force is limitless and infinite. And that power is accessed by the heart. It's just one, as David Icke says, says, a state of being aware, but I would say a tantric awareness, twin flame awareness. It's, there's a romance to it. There's a motherliness to it. So in my mind just go, now I've got like twin flame making love. That's what my mind would just projected like a holographic image. like a bond between two people in that situation. But that's symbolic of the source of all life. And the woman, the female side, is the very nurturing, comforting side, you see. The male is the macho side. getting his hands dirty, you know, that's why they say toxic masculinity, because they're scared men, but what we're heading into is the new earth. Which is apparent with the awakenings, the chosen ones, you know, that's what's in our faces. And so you've got to decide, are you part of the old earth or the new earth? If you're part of the new earth, that's twin flames, happiness. You might not have money, or you might, but it's the place where joy is. You can be happy. You can be with someone that you really like or love. Twin flames, soulmates, whatever. Or do you want to be in fear? But anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. For our latest updates, talks, news, research, please do visit my website at www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.